the volume a bit for the game because the game tends to come across a bit quiet. And mic is working, stream seems solid, no frame drops. Excellent. Hello. I'm EnviroBoy. This is my channel, and we're going to play some Mass Effects. So let's just dive into it, man. Just go for it. Let's just freaking go for it, man. Especially because we can sit here and chat while the game's warming up. It always takes a minute or two. Always takes just a couple minutes. I have a lovely, lovely, powerful gaming machine um, that I absolutely adore. It's been a wonderful computer since I got it a few months ago. Uh, but even that said, the the new the new re-release of Mass Effect here is it's a big game because it's got three graphically updated games all crammed into one. So it's a uh, it's a bit of a monster. It always takes a second for it to load up, but it's already loaded up and we're ready to go. Ready to go. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, and I love this game so much. I'm a happy, happy dude getting to sit here and play this game. What fun. What fun, man. All right. Here we go. So we just spent some time chit-chatting with, like, everyone on the game, period. Let's see here. So we got to remember how to navigate the Normandy because they really, they really gave the Normandy a facelift here. So let's see here. War assets. The people, weapons, armies, and fleet that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effective these assets will perform in the final battle. All right. Um, so we're getting our war assets. This was the one thing I was kind of wondering about. I'm just going to like let it open all of these here so we can just like get them all marked. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was one thing I was kind of wondering about if they made any changes to how the galactic readiness was because in pre it previously every time I've played uh, every time I've played this game um, it's been that I needed to play some online in order to increase that galactic readiness but I feel like I remember that was something that they intentionally did away with um, but I don't remember for sure. I don't remember if they actually did that or if they were talking about doing that, and I don't know how that all stands in this release of the game. I don't know. I'll have to probably look that up. It's a nice beret. Alright, so they retrofitted that area, and so now we're back into, like, what should be... Alright, so talk to her. Do you have anything? Do you do the same? Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades that I left at the end of the day, I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on Sister. Get over it. No. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it's no trouble, Commander. Yeah, they're still doing some sort of construction next door. I still hear banging on the walls. My toothbrush is I hope that's construction, otherwise they're having a party. The joys of communal living. Okay, yeah, you're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Nope. Carry on, specialist. I just wanted to know. I just wanted to know if I had any emails. You psycho! Calm down. Okay, and they closed that area. Okay, so that's how they've. Th that's like the rearrangement they've done with everything. Check. Let's see. There's spec ops. <clears throat> Shepherd Alliance forces are stretched thin across the galaxy. We need your specific talents for a series of ops. These missions will open doors for the alliance in places you can't, we can't touch through conventional means. We'll deploy operatives to hold point after you've completed your objectives. I need you to head to Cerberus Lab on the Planet Sanctum. I'll brief you when you're inbound. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Reinstatement. Slider formally and I's, uh statement to the Alliance Navy Primer all day. Okay, yep, yep, we're back in. What? <laughs> What's this? Alliance military personnel. This is a galaxy wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Hackett has declared a threat condition Saber 1. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, subject to my dog. I was contractor working on Normandy's haptic interface when it was in dry dock. Your VIED 
emailed me to let me know I left my dog mech on board. Oh no, I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now and would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring, sniffing chemical trails and 750, er, 750 volt outlets. <laughs> Thank you and sorry for the trouble. There's no trouble. I love, I love Robo Dog. I forgot about Robo Dog. <coughs> Uh, news network. Uh, whereas the Korean fleet, the latest intelligence shows that the Reapers are taking system after system at a feverish pace. Members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies. Uh, this kind of forced exodus might seem especially familiar to the nomadic Koreans. Uh, okay, just kind of talking about stuff. Welcome back, gift. Uh, while we were in dry dock, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand should you be reinstated as commanding officer. So the ship does not have the capacity of capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested. <laughs> I chose something from the Official Systems Alliance catalog. <laughs> that's, that's funny, Joker. Uh, soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years or more are entitled to a commemorative uh, hooded jacket for wear on off-duty hours. You will find it among the selection of casual clothing in your cabin. Pigeon. Yeah, we gotta visit the cabin. We gotta visit the cabin and get our style going here. Some of the data you found allow me to research and upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Tassoni's office. Oh, we're going to go to Dr. Tassoni's office. You, you, you gosh darn know we're going to. Um, okay, and then Eden Prime. Uh, Cerberus has attacked Eden, Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate uh, the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major Prothean artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. Okay, so we got some side missions. Okay, and yep, there's no new... Okay, so we got all that. That's good. Uh, let's see. Let's go. First off, yeah, we want to go up here. Um, we need to get up here. We need to check all of our stuff. Private terminal. Oh, sw oh sweet. Okay. Oh, that's... Oh, my gosh. That's right. He looks like a gorilla with that one. <laughs> I actually kind of like this one the best. Okay, let's see here. What do we have for her? Battle. Oh, man, she's got some serious battle armors. And that's the goth one. Oh, that one's really cool. She's got some badass stuff. That armor does look pretty cool, but I don't know. I kind of like her lab coat aesthetic, to be perfectly honest. I kind of like the, the white lab coat. Last time we had everyone being, like, super goth and stuff, but I... I don't know if I'm feeling like that. I, I don't know if I'm feeling the same way about all of these outfits. I'm going to leave her in her standard one for now. Um, just for now. What's th Oh, that's just a window. I was like, can I go in there? Uh-oh. Oh, jeez, oh, for a second I thought I was frozen. I think Actually, I think for a second I was frozen. <laughs> it's actually what it was. All right, let's see. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Casual. Okay, first off, casual. We got to... That's, that's, I mean, come on now. See, now that just, like, that's weird to me. Who would walk around in that? Who would consider that, like, a casual wear outfit? That's weird. No, this is the one where it's at. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Armor set. Cerberus Ajax armor. I swear I'm not part of Cerberus. Why are you walking around the Cerberus armor? Because I have to. All right. Um, okay, yeah, our default, we're going to. Oh, wait. I mean, if I get a health boost, why the hell wouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, hell yeah. Cost of fabrication. I mean, I think I kind of have to. Like, they they actually have put on some serious uh, improvements for all of these. We can do more melee damage, but I actually don't want to do that. Um, I don't care about the melee damage, and I don't like that it takes away a lot of my health. Wait, did that take away health boost? That one takes away health boost. Kitty. Hi, kitty. No. So, okay, sweetie. No. Don't just stand right in front of the screen. This, she is such a brat. She always stands right in front of the screen. What are you doing? What are you What are you working on? What do you want? Here, how about you just come and hang out on my lap? It's always a good spot for you. There you go. See, that's not so bad. You're purring. You're happy. You act like I'm mistreating you and doing horrible things to you when all I'm trying to do is give you attention in a way that doesn't disrupt what I'm working on. No legs. Okay, hold on. So we're going to keep that. I want to keep the health boost until I can get something. Because, like, the, everything else, like, it's melee damage. And then, hold on, the chest gets shield regeneration, but it takes away the health boost. 
So I'd honestly rather just keep the health boost. Um, shield regen is fine and all, but I don't know. Okay, so all of our materials here. I kind of wish we could zoom in and see a bit better. But let me try, let me, hold on, what kind of patterns we got? Yeah, I like the adding the extra stripey. Now the pattern color here, of course, we have to do our, our stuff. So tint one, yeah, there we go. So we want that, and then tint two. We got to get uh, back to our what we had beforehand. Um, I think that looks pretty lime green if I'm viewing it right. Um, trying to make sure I've got all my tints and stuff proper here. We got to get our teal and uh, lime green armor back. I think that looks lime green. It's hard for me to tell sometimes with the greens and stuff because of like being colorblind and everything. So I. Oh, the lights. <gasps> we can change the color of our lights. Are you kidding me? That's fucking rad, man. It also doesn't help that it doesn't, whatever one it's select, it, it does whatever one you hovered over last, rather than the one that you selected. So I like, I like, yeah, I like the lime green lights there. Yeah, tint, tint one definitely needs to be white. Um, the only, the only other thing is we could do the pattern color as like our, our lime green here. I think that's lime green. I think that looks lime green. It's hard to tell. Oh, wait, hold on. That, no, wait, shit, that's lime green. What the fuck is that? There we go. That's what we're looking for. Kitty, <laughs> stop with this. You're being such a turd. You're being such a turd. Don't give me that. You're doing this on purpose. I know you are. I know you're doing this to try and, you're probably getting ornery because you want something from me. But I'm not going to do that for you. You can lay on my lap and, and hang out and relax. Oh, shit, because there's a whole bunch of other colors. No wonder. There we go. Okay, so the pattern one, we could do the lime green, um, or we could do the teal. But let me try doing the lime green there, and then let's chain our, change our tint to the teal here. There it is. So that's that's more the kind of teal that I'm looking for right there. I think that's, yeah, so that's the teal that I want. Um, so... Lime green, okay. Um, so there's our lime green and teal that way. Or alternatively, we can go to the pattern color. Go down to. Let's see. Hold on, man. They, the colors they're not in the same places. Tripping me out a little bit here. I think that's that. You got that teal, and then our tint two. We can make the lime green. I don't know. I like that. I, I think the I think the pattern color being lime green. I think that's a little bit better because we get a bit more, we get a bit more of the lime green that way, and then tint two here. We'll make that the teal, like that. Yeah, I think I like that a bit better with the lime green being a more prominent and then the teal being the secondary addition. I like that, and then the lights didn't really have a whole lot of other options, did they? could make the lights teal Look around here we could make them the lights teal um, but I actually like the lime green I like that all right I like it I like it I like it I like it save and exit there we go so we did that and so now we okay so now we can do upgrades we have to go to Liara's lab crew deck um, oh I'm just gonna go to all of them I mean, that's kind of what I want to do. I want to survey the ship here and see what all there is to see again here. So we got crew deck here. There is, is there anyone to talk to around here? I don't think so. I think eventually there is, but not right now. What about over here? Is there anyone over here? Nope. Eventually, but not right now. Here, nope. That's the restroom. That's the ladies' room. The men's room. Oh, they won't let me go in there. Lame. I'm the captain of the ship. I can go wherever I want. <gasps> they got a poker table. Neat, guys. You guys want to gamble all away all of our money? What the hell is that thing? I don't know what that is, but it looks awesome. And they've got a bar and everything. Oh, this is a pretty kick-ass lounge they got going on here. Um, and then over here is... Kitty. <laughs> this cat. This cat is full of it today. 
and is absolutely full of it. All right, so we checked all that out. Got to go around here. I know this may seem a little tedious, but believe me, it's essential. Going through and exploring everything is 100% essential. There's Liara. Oh, we're going to go in and we're going to talk with her, and there's going to be like a moment. Because she's the shadow broker now, too, right? So there's a whole lot of stuff going on for her. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. Yeah, I remember this little guy. Guilty Spark. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, <laughs> I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. Okay. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. Sweet. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. I like Glyph. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ, you kind of snuck up on me there. It was less than ideal. <laughs> At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Shut up. Gosh dang it, stupid phone. I'm flattered, I think. Hey babe, how's it going? Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand okay. precisely is, what it you're does. You're being you're being a much better sweetheart right now, Kitty. <laughs> uh yeah, agreed. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, I if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? Oh, babe, of course. I love I you to the end. Love you more than anything, Liara. Love you more than anything, babe. Good. I was getting worried. There are a lot of reasons I yes. would like to see you on Yes! Board. I'd like that list. But later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Dang it. Me. Hopefully we can discover... So we're going to have something steamy us. right there. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later. Hot. Yes. Oh, we going to get some love in. We going to get some love in. Yara. <laughs> Yara. Maybe like one of your friends, girls. Do it. <laughs> Swanky digs guy here, babe. Kitty, what are you doing? Goofy little kitty. Okay, anyway. This is kind of like a cool setup that she's got where she's got like her little bedroom apartment set up there and then her big giant lab. Alright, hold on. I do want to look at these though. Armor mod kit. Uh, let's see reward options. Ammo capacity bonus. I mean, yeah. Oh, I see. I can only choose one of them, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't realize. I guess I didn't realize that's how it works. That's okay. Whatever. Ammo this capacity is not bad. This non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Ah, that's so nice. Alright, Glyph, remind me to clean up these old notes. So if Saris agreed to sponsor me at the Prothean Dig. I believe Dr. Jashan was right to suggest that the Prothean Artifacts... Uh, we unearthed are from third age, not fourth. We're under the theorem expedition. I thought I'd got us this human ship. Oh, has the key to comprehending the Protheans on an instinct, uh, instinctual subconscious level. If only I could have been there when the commander touched uh, the beginning of Eden Prime. I'll try to learn more about this. Uh, the site for board the Normandy, the involvement of the Reapers is troubling to say the least. I reviewed the old Shadow Brokers footage of the collectors. It's chilling to know that they're uh, Protheans husks, at least nothing sentient. Uh, could possibly remain after what the Reapers did to them. Oh, all right. Uh, let's see. I made it back to Tezik yesterday. I look at his face. Surprised he's not happy to put me in charge of scouting terminus systems. Because I hope you finally uh, got your little friend Droney to stop saying shadow and broker out loud in the same sentence anyone say. 
Great. Those screens are tripping me out, man. <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to do that. I think they're supposed to, like, track you and follow you, but I think they're tripping out a little bit there. All right, anyway. Please enjoy your day. Thanks, Cliff. Love you. All right, um... <laughs> don't think there's like anyone or anything to see over here. Her legs are a little bowed when she runs, but that's okay. Yeah, there's nothing really going on in here right now. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, and then we'll go in here. This is where Dr. Chakwas is. I don't think she really has anything for us um, for the most part, but we'll talk Come with her there. and check and make sure. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old medicine. Doc, your old, your old white hair problem. matches your outfit. You. <laughs> Let's waste no time, and if I may, I'd like to examine you. Uh, okay. Yes, a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implant, and it'll take a few weeks. Great. Good. Your implant was showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. <laughs> Yay! That's it. You're the picture of health. All right. See you around, Doctor. Leave me alone. Take care, Shepard. See, it's canon. Being a good guy. Oh, you can reassign powers and stuff. Okay. Um, great. And anything in here? Oh, that's right. We've got uh, we got Chicky Poo here. Eventually, we'll we'll utilize her, but not yet, not quite yet. One day, but not not right now. Mm, excuse me. Okay, that floor is explored. Now we need to go down to engineering just to do the labs. Like I say, this might seem tedious, but trust me, it's super important for me to explore my whole ship. When I say super important, what I really mean is I like doing it and I want to do it. <laughs> Gotta get our bearings and make sure we got everything straightened out here. And then there's this this lady here. Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my rating. I don't need yeah, don't you forget it. To data upload. Yeah, get us Tell get people support. what's really happening on Earth. We need, so we need man. We need to get that, that galactic story. preparedness up there so better. we can Remind get the best slideshow at the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, we got the paragon points. That's where it's at. Okay, let's see here. So we can go down here. There won't be anyone down here right now. We can go down here and have nostalgia over the fact that Jack was here at one point in time. Pick up our models. I mean, I gotta get my model collection back. Like I say, super important. Absolutely necessary that I explore everything around here. It's gotta happen. Don't even try to convince me otherwise. Alright, hey, what up, bro? Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adam. You look like you have chicken pox, dude. I was dude. put in charge of the drive core retrofit. My experience on the Normandy SR1 made me an obvious choice. So, Great. What do you think of our SR2? She's incredible. There's one nice thing. I, I love that part of her vibrates horribly, and the rest of it just stays about perfectly that, still. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Doctor Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collective. I refused. I didn't have your back. Sorry for that. You owe me, you son of a bitch. No, it's who cares. Your alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. All right. Yeah. Carry on. Carry on. Adam. I don't. In 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 my own personal run-throughs of the game, I would 100% do the investigate and do every little bit of exploring and learning about him that I could do. Um, I would do that with all of them, but I'm trying to behave a little bit since I'm streaming. There's a RoboPup! Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> it's like Boston Dynamics over here, man. Tell you what. 
He's gonna start dancing and doing like sick ass kickflips and shit. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here. We've we I know we've got some stuff that we can do, some modifications. We can do the extended barrel, which will increase our damage. Um, and then we can also do our uh, concentration mod, increase damage by five percent, speeds, perception by twenty five percent, enhancing aim for a brief time. Yeah, hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah, baby. We can change the view. Oh, we can look at it at different angles, which really doesn't change how we see it at all. But hey, they added it. <laughs> they made sure to put that option in there. Hooray! Yeah, we can't carry any of those. That's fine. I don't really need them at all. Um, yep, we got the mods figured out there, and there's no mods for that. Okay, great. Super duper. Weapon upgrades. Here we go. Um. Yeah, I do want to do the Mantis upgrade for damn sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, we can keep getting more... Ac yeah, hell yeah. Keep giving me the Mantis upgrade. Hell yeah, I'll spend all my money on this shit. You kidding me? Fuck yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, I suppose I should probably also do some for my others. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get the... Mm, I'm actually going to get the shuriken. Um, purchase that, yeah. Get a couple of them. I think that's all I can afford, yeah. Alright, we'll just start with those and call it good there. Procurement interface. Uh, Serta supplies, open store, nothing. Uh, casa fabrication, casa. Uh, oh shit, we got a few things. Okay, so yeah, eventually we'll be able to buy all this stuff. I ain't got no money right now. Oh, shit. Should have wasted all that money upgrading that other one. Oh, well. What's up, kitty? How you doing? Yeah, I know, kitty. I know, kitty. Oh, gosh, your nails are so sharp. I can feel them digging into my skin right now. Um, yeah, so we can't afford any of these right now, but... Um, Eventually, those will be great things to buy. And the Spectre requisitions, I know we just got those. So, holy shit, I need a lot of money to get these things. I don't remember if this is a game where they make it reasonably possible to get, like, everything. I don't remember if this one was that way or if you have to pick and choose. So, we'll start off by picking and choosing. And then, if it turns out that we can... Okay, we already took care of my armor and everything. Um, and if it turns out you can... You get everything, then you got damn better believe we're gonna do that. Um, Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. No, don't. Yeah, no, no, at ease. I nice want to just stand you, there awkwardly the whole time. Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. Well, stop it. It's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega, or is that the Cerveza talking again? <laughs> so what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Yeah, focus, focus. The procurement chains are in chaos. Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. I can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. Oh, you mean like I just did? To a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle oh, good pilot, to know. but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. My experience... This guy talks a lot about technical stuff. Pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, Pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics. Is he just like standing there for the sake of being able to offer up quips while I'm in the middle of a conversation? What an attention hog. Hard work. <laughs> yes, Commander. <laughs> I love the Mass Effect turnaways that they always do. All right, so the Mantis is upgraded. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember how uh, how prevalent money is in three. I can't remember how being able to afford everything ends up working. Okay, can we do any conversations with him? We can't talk with him. I don't know that there's anything of value to say to him right now, but we're gonna try it. God, he's such a hunk. Look at him. Hey, Shepard. <laughs> what a what an animal. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. 
Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yep. You wanna rescue a Turian Bro, can you just like power. stand when we're talking? Do you have to do this? Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. I'm a kid. You come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <laughs> These are both horrible responses. I'm in a committed relationship. I just confirmed it. I did just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. The guy's the guy's an animal. He's a beast. What a hunk. Not sure what there is to talk about. Talk about how many damn push-ups you can do or pull-ups. Freak. I don't actually. I think the most impressive thing about all those pull-ups he's doing is the fact that all that muscle, he's got to weigh like 250 pounds. Like, fucking look at him. Well, <laughs> like, that's a lot of weight to pull up. I struggle with just my 170 pounds. Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. We can, like, fight him. That's right. We can, like, spar. Let's do this. Which is, like, really weird and funny, but okay. It's okay, we're yeah. bonding. There's nothing Who unprofessional or weird about this. We're bonding. Captain Tony. <laughs> he was a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. No, I'm not gonna cheat. He was. Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy Bro, him. bro, it's late sparring. Relax. I chose the intel. <laughs> Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Oh, so you did a shitty job. Okay, huh. <laughs> saving the galaxy by taking down the entire collector homeworld. <laughs> you didn't know. You can't blame yourself. Oh, he can, and he Should does. Just a guess. You a shrink too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. Lucky to be alive. So? This is a weird so? situation for them to be like conversing in. As someone who spars on the regular, it's not actually that easy to have a conversation while you're trying to hit each other in the face. Grow up. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. <laughs> it's Commander. No, we'll be nice. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute, so I'll let you get away with it. Like I don't. I'm not super That's big it. fan of the fact that like the options are be a dickhead or flirt with him. <laughs> like. Nice if there was like a middle ground somewhere in there, but okay. Anywho, oh, is there a model? Do we have a model? Yes. All right, we're getting our models. I think that just says like Quarian model, because like it just makes me think of like just some like sexy Quarian gonna like stand around in my in my room now. It's just just a model, like I uh, just just demonstrating all kinds of like super awesome Quarian fashion. <laughs> all right. Anyways. Okay, let's go to our combat information center. Let's go ahead and find some stuff to do. Let's go explore in. I know we've got a couple side missions and stuff. Um, uh, search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Okay. So, okay. So these are... That's right. I forgot. They kind of turned it into like a, a board game of sorts. The way they did everything. Um, so wait, hold on. I do want to check actually what I want to do. I want to look at my journal, look at our missions. So we've got the, uh, Volus Diplomat needs Prothean Obelisk, recover it from the Shrike Abyssal and deliver it to him in the Citadel Embassy. Um, oh wow, we got a few things. Um, uh, Cerberus Lab, Priority, um, uh, so we've got the Eden Prime thing. That's right. 
So like the priority things, you don't actually have to put them in priority. Um, that's kind of their way of saying like, oh, this is going to really advance things. Um, so it's like if you want to do other stuff, do other stuff first. Um, you could sort by name actually. That'll probably make it a bit easier. Um, yeah, we don't need to worry about the codex or the secondary codex. So yeah, uh, let's just take care of the strike the the strike abyssal one. Um, so let's go find that. It's such a fun word to say, Shrike Abyssal. So this cluster, recover Prothean artifact, Kite's Nest, uh, Cerberus Lab. That's that's showing where we are, isn't it? Because I, I think we're still outside. So Rescue, the Turian, Primark. I guess this is the one that we need? <laughs> See you, kitty. Yeah, let's go here, I guess. That's right, and like we're gonna be here, and the little guys are gonna be all like, and like come after us, so we're gonna have to like leave really fast. Work with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Uh, use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around the system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance the Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. That's right, okay. So we've got a little bit. So that's the Eden Prime one. Um, so we can do that. Alright, um. I found something. Thanks, Edie. Uh, yeah, so let's enter the orbit here and recover the assets, I guess. Uh, start scanner. Okay, so yeah, they did still have the scanner here. Okay, and this is still really, you know, that doesn't help. They've, it's like super slow and irritating to move. <laughs> they did not change that fact of this. All right, there we go. War, war assets acquired. Hell yeah. Okay, so we can escape and leave. Um leave orbit I guess so we found half of the aha here we go investigate and then okay so we covered fuel and that gives us all of our assets so okay so we got that we didn't really need to worry about the, pr the, the um, guys following us I guess okay here we go so let's go to Asgard, which is fun. Gosh, the 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 map here is so much more high definition than in Mass Effect 2, even with like the upgraded graphics and stuff for ME2. All right. So we definitely got the attention of a few uh, of the uh, what you call it, the. Um, the Reapers there. Okay. So we're just getting our stuff. Means of, an, of a Reaper Destroyer. Okay, great. Leave orbit. So we did that one. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff to find here. Right, in our orbit here, what can we find? Okay. Gosh, it moves so slowly. It's such a pain. Uh, yeah, okay. So we'll send a scanner down or a probe down. What we got there? War asset acquired. Hell yeah. Alright, leave orbit. Okay, so the Reaper alertness. They're pretty close to being alert. We can try one more time and get some stuff, but then we're probably going to have to scooch out of here. Uh, enter orbit. So we're going to have to move. We're going to be in trouble. <laughs> I feel, I, I'm trying to remember how like it all works. I feel like you have a little bit of time if you're like deliberate about what you're doing. You can try and get a couple more things before the Reapers like screw with you too hard. But we're going to find out, aren't we? All right, leave orbit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Did I do? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it just like brings us back here. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you really don't want to fuck around with that I guess alright let me re-grab these really quickly and then we'll so I guess then we'll go um, 
uh, do a mission then. <laughs> That's fine. Lessons learned. We have to experiment with these things. I'm definitely the type of gamer who, like, 100% will, um, uh, will, like, jump off a cliff to see what kind of fall damage there is, right? I'm totally willing to let myself die or just get my ass handed to me in a situation for the sake of experimenting with what the, uh, what the boundaries of the, of the game mechanics are. I'm absolutely that kind of player. It's like, how else am I going to learn? How else am I going to come to understand exactly how this game works? You know, you gotta, you gotta experiment. You gotta play with your world, man. Besides, it's a video game. Like, it's super low stakes, you know? It's like, who cares? Can we just, like, enter orbit and, like... Okay, um... Well, okay, we know that this one has some stuff, so can we just enter and... Or do we need to... You need to scan. Okay, it won't let you. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, so let's go over. Let's do the... Um... Let's, I guess we'll come over here then. Uh, enter the system. Okay, wait, hold on a second. I, I want to check my stuff again. Yeah, Eden Prime is one of the... So it's not going to show us... Um, apparently, it's only going to show us the, uh, the main missions. It's not going to show us the side missions, so we have to just find them on our own. Laboratory is located on Sanctum. Okay. So we need to find a way to find Sanctum in here. I gotta remember like what the process is of exploring these places and figuring out where the hell I'm supposed to go. Alright, mass relay jump. Um I mean I guess it's just you go and like see if they show up. Rescue the Primarch. Okay, so that's showing us the Cer so I guess it will show us the Cerberus lab. So I guess I guess the other one is like located here around the Citadel then, or maybe we've already found something and we're just supposed to bring it back to the guy who's already on the Citadel. Maybe it, maybe that's what I'm, you know, goofing up on or getting confused about. The guy must already be there. So let's just go ahead and land on the citadel and take care of it then I guess I don't see any reason not to right Dodoy just our way of welcoming you back flight lieutenant uh, yes ma'am requesting docking permission docking permission granted <laughs> would you like private transport arranged uh I don't I guess no thanks. Yes, Commander. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that because I don't know where to go for to find the guy. Because we had to return it to uh, it was a Volus, right? Hold on. Uh, uh, a Volus diplomat needs Prothean Obelisk. Recover it from the Strike Abyssal. Yeah, so it's like I don't I, we didn't do anything at Strike Abyssal, but it's like showing the. Blinky as if there was something to do here. So that's why I'm confused. Like, I guess we'll just kind of come here. It's a Volus Diplomat. So let's go up to... I guess I guess I did want the embassies. Um, yeah, I'm kind of confused. Let me see here. Like, I'm guessing it was something that I, like, accidentally picked up just walking around here. Or something. Like, I can't think about what else it would be. Oh, hey, bud. What you doing here? What's hey, up, bro? Liara told me the council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. There will be. There will be. But they don't really believe us. Yeah, they will. Not, not your kind of place. I kind of want to say that one, but yeah. I can hardly believe it myself. Everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. Well, this ain't no nightmare, baby. This is real it's life. It's like this place. It's the real deal, man. It's scary. So, it's all scary. Earth? Hell yeah, but. But. You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. 
Mm -hmm. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. Cool. I'm head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. You flirted with me? You flirted with me? Because I'm taken. I'm taken. And you better believe that I am going to be faithful to my blue lady love. There's no other way to be. Alright, yeah, I don't... I don't think I have actually recovered anything to get back to him, so I don't know why it was giving me the blinky go-ahead here. Um, I'm just going to check all these rooms just to make sure that I'm not... Earth Counselor, that's our... Uh, our Spectre area. Yeah, no, I don't think... I, I don't think there is actually anything for me to do around here right now. So, yeah, I guess we'll just go do the, the other, the Prothean, or the, the uh, Cerberus lab, I guess. Um, and we'll hope that we can recover that other thing as we're exploring other things. Because I don't want to just, like, Welcome. randomly go about, you know, go all willy-nilly just running around to random systems. Um, I'd rather do it like a system a systematic thing, like, when we go to a place for a mission, we can explore then complete the mission, and then finish exploring, right? Because we'll go there and we'll get as much attention as we can without getting in trouble with the uh, with the, the Reapers. Um, so I guess that's the way that I want to do it. Um, so that was a little bit of a waste of time, but it's, you know, it's whatever. We're just playing a game, man. We're just having fun. Who cares, baby? Who cares? We can do whatever we want. Leave orbit. Uh, go to the, the mass relay. Plot a jump. So the... Yeah, I'm guessing it's because that's the so that's uh, the Prothean artifact. That's one of the main ones, and so is that one. So let's go up here to the Cerberus lab and take care of that. Let's do this one and see what it has to offer us. Okay, so yeah, so it's like we can now in here. It's kind of like pew. I found something. Yeah, you did. Orbit. Start the scanner. Get our mouse sensitivity as high as we can to try and move this as fast as we can here. Launch the probe. We get it. Was it worth it? Better have been worth it. Javelin missile launchers. Sweet. I don't know why those were just sitting around on a random ass planet, but hey, you know, it's whatever. Okay, so like, there's a bit of reaper attention, but nothing drastic right now. That's increasing. How much did it increase? Okay, we can still probably get away with it. I think really the trick is like, we can just kind of keep trying until suddenly you're like under attack. There's, a, there's one more acid around here. Some ah beans, ah beans. They're after me. Yeah, so now we gotta leave. Evasion successful. Yeah, so so we gotta leave. So now we'll go do this. Right, we'll go search this area. Here we go. So we can enter the system, and I believe that we can go ahead. And, Signal confirmed. Yeah, see, we can go ahead and grab this stuff. Investigate, and I think I th it looks like they're not gonna make you have to worry about. Um, Reaper assaults and stuff when there's actually a mission in place there. And probably they did that, my guess is they did that so that way you don't have to worry about accidentally not being able to complete a mission because you accidentally get, you know, you're, you get too much tension from the Reapers. Um, which is smart for them to have done it that way. Because <laughs> that would have been a real bummer. Alright, uh, so there we go. We got some money. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we can use that to buy random shit. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and do Sanctum. Let's do this one. Let's do a mission. Let's actually play a mission. We've spent like the first hour of me just like going around and goofing around with my shipmates and stuff. Now we're gonna actually like play the game. Let's do this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. I'm stoked. Yes. Alright, hold on. 
she's got so many cool armors. I kind of want to, like, cycle through all of them from time to time. This one's pretty cool. Um, and his, yeah, that one makes him, that one just makes him look like a gorilla to me. Like, with the, with the eyes, just the way, like, his face and eyes end up looking with that face mask on. The monocle one's kind of weird. Um, that's his standard. I really like this one. I think that's, I think that's the coolest one for him. Liara's got... All of hers look pretty rad, to be perfectly honest. I think I think this one of her like non lab coat ones is my favorite, but I actually really like her lab coat aesthetic, um, and the goth one is kind of cool. But I don't know, I really actually like her. I like it because it kind of matches mine. We've got different color accents, but we've got the white, and it's like, oh, we're a cute couple. So yeah, we'll select we'll select her and James. Which actually, that's kind of one of my favorite teams throughout all Mass Effect 3. I actually think James is a really cool character. I like him. Um, and it might just be because I think he's a damn hunk. But, you know. Oh, almost. Almost with the weight reduction on everything. Look at that. So close, man. So close. We can't modify. Do we... Wait, actually, do we have modifications for any of these? We don't. Shoot. Let's see if we had the modifications we could. The benefit... Because the thing is, is the benefit for all of these is more ammo. So you don't have as much to worry about in terms of running out of ammo. Um, so that's really the benefit of having all these extra things, even if you don't really want to use them all. Um, let's make sure these guys have everything. Um, I like this one, just being able to do the, have more damage. That's the big thing there. I don't know if anything else actually makes a whole lot of difference. Capacity, you know, like the weight and stuff, it doesn't matter. This is, they only can have the, the weapons they can have. But we're going to give him that one. Yeah, and then uh, there's only the one shotgun option. Okay, so then, and then our, our sweet girlfriend here um, modified already. Good. And there's only one option there. Okay, so confirm. We're good. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Why is he throwing chunks of ice at us? <laughs> Nickel every time I was forced to pull out. <laughs> Ayo. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's go screw with Cerberus. I like it. I dig it, man. It's my kind of mission. Fuck those guys. Restricted area. Well, I'm not going to respect that. <laughs> There's no way I'm respecting that sign. What are you going to do? It's a sign. <laughs> it's like, what is that? It's, that was Simpsons, right? Do not enter. It's like, it's like, it's like, or, yeah, it's like, don't enter or do. I'm just a sign. Or like, I'm a sign, not a cop, or something like that. <laughs> On my way. Which cracks me up. Oh, this is, uh, this is 100%. One of the multiplayer maps. 100% this is one of the multiplayer maps. Um, so it's like cyclical. There's not a whole lot to explore other than just making sure I pick up everything I can pick up. I don't really know what was going on with that guy there, but... Boom! God, I've got so many superhero powers. This is so great. I don't know if there's a finite number of enemies or there's just like gonna keep coming in waves or something. So I guess I'll just keep moving. It seems to be finite. I don't know where that guy came from. I didn't even see him there. It's awkward. Whatever. Okay, wait, where was my. Looks like there's probably more stuff for us to find here. Like, what this, what's this thing? Like, this was totally the thing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm confused. What am I supposed to do now? Like, did we already do everything? <laughs> I am so confused. Okay, so we're back here. There's something to do in here. Ah, here we go. 
only lead to Metagel advances for Hanar. Only Cerberus would call that a failure. Yeah, what dickheads? Oh, there's the yeah, we pick up the artifact. Okay. Is there anything else for us to pick up around here? There's clearly some some goodies for us to pick up. What do there? Tuck and roll, baby, tuck and roll. Alright, um, Oh, yeah, see, there's there's still some more things to pick up around here. Like, we got the credits and everything. Yeah, enhanced scope. Okay, yeah, I gotta I gotta make sure I'm, like, being careful and attentive throughout this whole thing because there's a bunch of stuff to pick up still. Hell, yeah, I want to get those credits and everything. I got shit I gotta buy, man. I need to get more credits. I'm gonna get all the credits. I'm gonna get every single credit. You know I'm gonna... Okay. Um, and I know I already checked down here, but I'm going to check one more time. Yeah, I can see this stuff. Personal log, see Talavi. Finally here. Wow, the troops here are really intense. No one smiles, ever. And suicide on capture orders? Seriously? They call training integration. I'll start being integrated tomorrow. Can't wait! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guy's like all concerned about how intense it is, but he's like, can't wait! Neat! Super cool! All kinds of fun, guys! Woohoo! All right, so we got everything there. I know we've already been here. Oops. And then we can go down here, and there should be another. Yeah, there's, this takes us back out to the exit, so we can get out of here. But I'm just going to check around here, make sure there wasn't anything else to find. Doesn't seem like there was. Nope. Okay. I think we got it all. I think we got it all. Let's get out of here. No, no. Like, go. Level up. Level up. Good work. Are we, wait, are we done? Oh, okay, so it's going to keep doing things in waves here. And we're going to have to keep handling. Ah, shoot, that was my bad. Got a little antsy there. I So I see how they're going to make us do it. They're going to make us, like, face a couple different waves of enemies and get all those ones individually. Wowee, I am just sucking right now, man. There we go. Finally got him. Smoke bombing me? What dickheads? Alright, let's get the shuriken out. Okay, if they're going to start having shields, we got to get our disruptor ammo up here. Dumb head up. There we go. Got another one there. There we go. Yeah, they really did make this exactly like the multiplayer. Oh, yeah, we already read that one. Okay. My bad. My B. My B. So, which one am I supposed to pick up then? Is it supposed to be this one? Yeah, okay. So, we gotta just like do them one at a time. It's kind of weird, but okay. No, bypass the system, you dummy. Blah, blah, blah. I'll kill him. Fine, I will kill them for you. Okay, like, wait, Cortez, I guess. Oh, they're all up there. Why would we worry about going up there? What are you idiots doing? Just come down here and wait. <laughs> Alright, fine, I guess. I'll just go in here and try and kill these guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Flanking, bitch! Hey, Whee! This isn't over yet. I, can do this all day. I know you can, buddy. That's why you're on my team. Way to distract him. Way to distract him, bud. That's teamwork right there. Now do we come out here? Okay, 
Okay, they're all up there. I guess I'll just flank them again. That worked out pretty well last time, so. Wow, that guy's just really bad at using his shield. <laughs> I mean, he was holding that in a bad position in the first place, then when he started getting shot, he didn't adjust it. I kind of deserved to die at that point. Go. I mean, okay, so now we go to the landing pad. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you made it sound like that's what I should have been doing from the first, you know, in the first place, but I had to do that, and I was all like, no, nope, the guys aren't there. Hey, dickhead. I'm busy shooting your friends. Stop trying to stab me. I'm being not very intelligent about how to handle all of this. There we go. Get myself into some cover here. Yeah, see they... Oh, it's because they keep coming up from like right where I'm trying to be. We're at the extraction point. Ready for pickup. Alright, well. Oh, they, oh they, they doing some spin dance in there. Yeah, we'll just shoot them all, I'll take care of them that way. Come on, pick your head up. There we go. I think the smoke just like immediately dissipated. It's like, and gone. Whee! Alright, let's get out of here. Go on, get. Gotta get on out of here. Get up on out of here. You did it, hack it. From that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. Alrighty. Okay. Stuff taken care of. Let's look at our stuff here. So we're getting there. So that's the minimum. But we want to get that like as maximized as possible. And I don't don't know that I fully understand at this point. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna have to look it up at some point in time whether or not uh, multiplayer is like part of that. Or even actually, I honestly I don't even know if they have like multiplayer as of the game anymore. To be perfectly honest, I haven't seen them talk about it at all. Okay, is there anything? Nope. Nothing else there. Okay. Uh, so let's just come up here. And we will leave orbit. Got all the assets there. So now we've got Skepsis here. Should be reset now. Because we finished a mission, right? Yeah, so that counted. So we need to like need to figure out where whatever asset I'm missing is. I'm sure it's not like in the center here. Where the frick is this thing? Come on, let's just get out of the way there. So you can just do that, and then... Yeah, it's not... I don't, I don't know where the... I don't know where it is, but okay. Well, whatever. So, okay. So we can go to these other ones. I guess we could just kind of like... There's only two of them. I guess we kind of could... Well, three. Just kind of go exploring to find where the one thing is, but... I don't know, I feel like all of them are going to end up being important at some point in time. So let's go to Eden Prime and get the Prothean Ar Artifacts. I feel like I'm remembering 
that's going to be one of the cooler ones to get early on just to be able to have assets throughout the game. I'm pretty sure that's the situation. So we got 100% of those. We beat a mission, so we should be able to go back to Asgard here. Since we're here, let's go ahead and check it out. Um, and see what's up with, uh, with Asgard. See if we can find anything else. So we got those close ones. So now we should be able to enter orbit here. Let's go down here. All right, got it. Team Delta. Apparently we found a spec ops team just lying on the planet or something. <laughs> the way they the way they handle some of the stuff is kind of weird, be to be perfectly honest, but that's okay. Let's start the scanner here. Drop probe. I'm glad they got rid of like having to purchase fuel and probes and stuff too. I like that they kind of kept this mechanic there, but really simplified it and and made it much less intense and time-consuming to deal with. All right. Um. I'm just gonna scan. I know we gotta get. Oops. I know we gotta get out of here. We gotta run from these assholes. But sometimes you can just like scan and get lucky. <laughs> All right, let's go. What? How much time? Oh yeah, we got a half hour. I bet you we can get the. I bet you we can recover our Protheana artifact if I actually like focus and do some stuff. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and get in here. And we'll do that one. And then hell, maybe we'll even have time to. Oh, excuse me to go back and um. Scan for that one final missing object. Um. Yep. Okay. Let's take these two super cool people. Super cool people. Alright, um. We, I don't believe anything's changed. Yeah, we still cannot add that to our thing. We didn't really find anything. I don't. Well, oh wait, no, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shoot. Can we go back? Ah, uh, beans. Alright, well, we'll have to wait. Because, yeah, I forgot I got that uh, sniper scope upgrade that we could have looked in on. But, um. Okay, so we got four points which you could use for I actually kind of want to use that on sabotage here power duration damage taken by 30% when enemy weapons overheat ooh that's a tough one that's a tough one um I guess I kind of want that one cuz I'm kind of going I'm I'm kind of building this uh shepherd this version of shepherd I'm kind of making this build a a like a, a big hitter as opposed to like duration and being able to like chip away, I'm like kind of doing like a big one shot, one kill. So it's all about getting, excuse me, the most damage out of a single hit as I can. Um, is sort of the way I'm building her here. So um, there's nothing that we can do for her, but with James, we can't auto level him up here. So we'll confirm. Yeah, we're just we're just doing the auto level ups for all of them to save myself some time. This is where it all began. It is. Where the Prothean beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and it got for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Alright, um... They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? Is it? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Dang it. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. Well, probably, yeah. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. Thanks, brah. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. Good enough, brah. Thanks. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. Yeah. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. I don't need luck. I got badassery on my side. Hell yeah. <laughs> Pew. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. Looking for the dig site. 
they came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. I grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move to another. But you'd still remember. Super quiet and scary around here. I'm gonna pilfer all these houses for anything I can find. <laughs> See, like, look at all this free shit they left lying everywhere. Like, what dumbasses? All this stuff has value, man. I'm taking this for myself. Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. Colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a service research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. And if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Yeesh. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Well, that's, I mean, a positive thing, I guess. It's a Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara, you ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No, dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. I mean, I'm with him there. Dinosaurs are rad. <laughs> Alright, um, I was also noticing how we sink into the ground a little bit here. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Alright, well, I guess let's do it. Down into the dig site uh, we go. Yes, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's... A Prothean. You mean the Collector? Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans into? No. An original, unmodified Prothean, who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Yeah. Good so cool. Our Prothean expert. Hell yeah. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> Wait a minute. This guy's an idiot. The life signs are unstable. <laughs> then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Okay. No. Wee. Let's up. One shot, one kill, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! It didn't duck down well enough. You fool. Get moving before more of them come back. Oh, that was pretty easy. <laughs> what a bunch of babies, man. They were so easy to kill. Alright, hold on. We gotta check all these houses. Everyone left behind all their valuable shit. We gotta steal it. I mean, appropriate it for better use than sitting here not being used. I'm not stealing. That's uh, your troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Yeah, like, I, I, it's interesting that they're painting all of this to, like, it, it really was just all the front. It's a ruse. It's a lie. <laughs> oh, hey, are you okay? <laughs> oh, 
can salvage from there. All destroyed. Okay, hold on. We need to. Okay, okay. Listen here, you dickhead. They go flying sometimes. Cracks me up. Plop. Bah. Oh, oh, he tumbling. <laughs> there we go. Just take care of it. Alright. <laughs> I just, I love the way they go tumbling and flying. It, it really is funny. Okay, is there anything of value up here? I'm doubtful, but... So this is just a vantage point for killing all these guys off here. It's hard to know exactly where it's like, where I'm intended to go around here. They don't really give you a map, do they? Find the pod data. That Okay, that's just showing me what uh, my mission is here. Oh, we can't hop over this one. This is really just its own isolated station to be in here. So we'll go down. Jeez, you guys. Just sitting there taking it. Alright. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure oh, out. Oh, so that's where we're supposed to go, so I gotta check everywhere else out first then. <laughs> Good to know. The med kit, get the experience points. What's in this building? We've gotten word from our source within Eden Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack at our security center between 22 and 2300 tomorrow night. Pulling in forces from across the colony, this gives us the perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Cambiata to escape, firing near-miss shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information, and with luck, the locals will see him as a daring hero the only way to escape the Cerberus trap. They might even put him in charge. Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. Yay, we did it. You're welcome, everybody. And we can still find more money and more stuff. Let's see. Okay, so we already saw that area, right? I don't think there's any way to go up there. So let's go over here. So now I just want to go check over here. Um, I, this might be where I'm supposed to go after going down there first, but I'm gonna make sure that there's nothing. There, that lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation. Oh, okay. Signal. So either one is an option, I guess. It's good to know. All right. Well, let's just like find all of the not pod stuff here, and then let's go to the other place. We gotta we gotta gain the system here a little bit and make sure that we find everything. So there's that equipment. There we go. Uh, okay, so that's probably the pod data that they were talking about. Wait, are we, are we trapped in here now? Ah, beans. All right. Well, guess I don't have a choice, huh? Ew, they're ugly. I don't like them. <laughs> we will sleep here until the Reapers return to Doc's base. Then we will rise a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Give to your stasis pod. Yeah, they look much less bug-like than they did when they were the uh, repurposed ones in Mass Effect 2.
Yeah, see, there they are. There's the insect-like ones. It's kind of like the Prothean version of the husks. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. So that was a bunch of weird stuff. What the fuck is wrong with your brain, Shepard? The Prothean cipher <laughs> you received on Pharos. It lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the There's pod. some weird uh, speed issues um, in in this game. I don't know if it's like... I don't know what's causing it, uh, if it's, you know, a, 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 an effect or, or something or an artifact or whatever of um, the, uh, oh, yikes. Jesus, guys. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Oh. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. But yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's uh, uh, an effect of the the re-release you know where they put all the games together and they upgraded the quality but i'm noticing with this one with three here there's a lot of weird things where like the the images like what you see the characters doing they're doing it really fast sometimes like when you see people die sometimes they're just like button like fall down immediately can't bypass that door are you kidding me there we go like they'll fall down like at weird speeds or like when we were chasing the the robot lady that's now lying unconscious and dead in our um on our ship right like when we were chasing her she would like occasionally just like her her movement speed would go nuts so um oh is it going to make us reset through it or is it going to be something different oh it might it might make us do it again Shit, I, might, I might have goofed. Let's see if it's a different video. Maybe we'll see something different. Okay, yeah, it's, the, it's showing us the next part, so that's fine. Yeah, we can we can watch the next little bit of it. I'm angry, so now I'll use my powers. Such a goofy trope. When made mad, they just magically get stronger. There we go. We did it. Ha ha! Take that, you buggy wugs. So much death and destruction. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Oh no, that's so many. It was kind of tragic to sort of see Alert. what they were going through. Because like, and like... I feel like it should be, I, sometimes these things don't, like in video games, because it's all CG, it doesn't come across as impactfully as it should. And maybe it's part writing, and maybe it's part just like the graphics and the nature of playing video game. You understood that one too? But I always feel like th like this should be almost more impactful than it feels when you're just kind of sitting here watching a little clip like that. Because it's like the idea is that we're... Uh, we're about to go through exactly this. Um, you know, like, this is exactly what we're, uh, what humanity and all of the current races are going to experience. You know, seeing the Protheans. Like, they're, all their last ditch efforts are failing and everything. And it's like, that's the parallel we're clearly supposed to draw. Um, and, and, like, think about so I, yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like those uh, videos don't necessarily convey that. Um, and it's pro and, and like I say, it might not be any, like, the fault of the writers or the, you know, or, or anything, the game makers in any way, shape, or form. It could just entirely be that that's the effect that uh, it being just like a video game CG mini video, you know, cutscene or something like that. 
Like that might just be an unfortunate fact of, of it. Um, that it just doesn't come across as like impactful as, as it should be. Um, but yeah, I definitely always feel like those videos should really make you feel like, oh god, this is kind of a sickening thing we're going through now. Because it's like, that'll be us if we don't succeed. And it's like, to a certain degree, you kind of can't help but notice um, and be aware of the, like, you know, plot armor that you have. Because it's like, you know, with Mass Effect, they try to make it so that you feel like it's possible to fail. But generally speaking, like, they, there's definitely that understanding of, like, of course it's going to be possible. Or, like, they wouldn't make us go through all of this gameplay if it was all event if it was all inevitably fruitless right so it's like there's a certain degree of plot armor that you get to enjoy throughout all of it because of that oh am i out of ammo okay let's do this just so it's a bit easier to mail slot them there we go and give me the mail slot award for it but it's probably something you can only get with like a one-shot kill with a sniper or something like that. They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. Ah, uh, beans. Uh, but I don't want to. <laughs> okay, so can we go like through here then or something? Uh, no, we can't go exactly through here. Oh wait, shoot, that's good though. We did just find some ammo. Oh, pull out your sniper. What are you doing? There you go. Why can't we just go over that way? Damn it. Okay, I wonder if this is a time where now I'm supposed to go up so that we can, like, clamber over rooftops and shit, maybe? I don't know. Where do you guys want me to go? Just tell me where, just tell me where to go. <laughs> just tell me what to do. Because they've retracted the bridge, so we can't go across that way. But it's like, okay, oh, I see, yeah, it, we, we can just climb down. Okay, got it, got it, got it, because there's these ladders up here. Got it, figured it out. Not completely useless as a brain. I can think through things from time to time. <laughs> how, do I, how do I get down? Let me down! Let me down! Oh my goodness gracious, Shepard. <laughs> over. Go over. So then can we, ah, there we go. So here's our ladder so we can get back down. Gosh darn. Gosh darn. They always got to make it so complicated. And so we're supposed to get over to the pod here. Come here, you. Hey, you want to come alive again? I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Oh, God. So now I just got to, like... I'm going to use you as cover, now, buddy. Commander. We'll have to hold this position. Oh. Bro, I'm going to totally use you for cover. I hope you don't mind. You've already been shot at a lot. Here they come. There we go. Whee! Oh, he's spinning... I love watching him spin through the singularity. That is pretty funny. <laughs> Just the zero G mechanics they gave the, the the avatars there cracks me up, man. Looks so good. Yeah, like see how that ship moved down super fast. I feel like they're not supposed to do that. I feel like there's something weird going on graphically. Like I'm wondering if there's just some sort of effect that like with this one, they tried to upscale the the frame rate or like the potential frame rates and stuff like that. I wonder if that is causing that at all. Cause yeah, they definitely they definitely are sometimes moving much faster than would actually make sense for them to do. Oh, he's dead. He's just sitting there. It's kind of fucking weird, man. Go, get him. Yeesh. Haha. Oh, what a dingus. You idiot. Take care of him. Looks like we got a second to catch our breath. I mean, I my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Ah, uh, yeah, because he's referring to boxing. Because he likes to box. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. God damn. 
Well, if anybody's below, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down the singularity to block enemy access. I mean, you can do that, but I don't know if you need to. Let's make sure this is up so we can get those shields down. There we go, just like that. And then now, the armor, let's get the fire. I feel like the fire is there. Um, frozen targets won't regenerate health. Should we shatter unprotected enemies? Slow down. So I, yeah, we can armor. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Right road. Can't remember if it's like possible to like kill the guy inside yeah you can like get the kill a bit quicker right because he's now exposed and boom you get him and then it's like can we use the armor is that a thing fuck yeah it's a thing fuck yeah it's a thing get him out of there oh hell yeah oh 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 jeez game don't crash on me don't crash on me all right there we go that was close i thought the game was gonna crash on me for a second there Oh man, this it is not handling. Okay, there we go, there we go. It took a minute. It was not handling that very well. That's kind of bodes poorly for using this thing. Yeah, so this thing moves through it. Cat, this is the horrible this is a horrible time for you to be standing in the cat. I love you, but you you do not get to just stand in front of the monitor and act like this isn't a problem. Never been able. You've never been allowed to do that. It's always been, you know, get yourself somewhere that you're not obstructing my view. There, you can open the life pod now. Can we? Okay. How do I get out of this thing? All right. How do I leave? Oh, X. Um. There we go. Yeah, this game it, handling those things. I want. Oh, it might be because I was trying to move over crates or something like that. It was acting weird. I don't know if I'm gonna be super excited to keep using. It. Stop doing that. Just use the thing. There we go. <laughs> right, okay. Here, you've got it. Hey, bro. Got hey, bro. It. Hey, bro. Wake up. Wake up, bro. Bro. Psst, bro. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Was well, that helpful? Wake up, bruh. Ah! Aliens! Yeah, I mean, how... Why would we expect anything different? We just saw that the guy basically went to sleep in the middle of a war. And he wakes up and he sees not Protheans. Like, I'd be freaked out too. Man, okay. Be careful, he's confused. Bruh, calm down, bruh. Relax, bruh. Bruh. Remember, it's been 15,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... It's too many. No. The bunker's Yeah, gone. right. Seriously. There is no other option. There are bugs on that. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Prepare a neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Like, do we have to watch all of this? Like, we kind of understand what happened, right? <laughs> we gotta add filler. We gotta add minutes to this thing. Yeah. No, definitely it makes sense his behavior, though, because he's he was 100% just like Ben in stasis this whole time. Like why would he why would he have any other perspective of what's happening? How am I to rebuild an empire from that? Further justice may be necessary. The neutron purge compromised the facility. Yeah, they're gonna make us sit through all of this. I don't know, like I I mean it's interesting stuff for sure, but like I feel like this is just a lot of time and it's like sitting on stream, it's like man, this is a lot of time spending sitting here just watching uh watching a little movie here. 
His teeth bother me. They look like whale teeth. Like the whale comb. Okay. Whatever. How many others? Just you. You can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology and your nervous system, not to understand your language. That's convenient. So you were reading me while I was seeing you. Our last moments. Our failure. It wasn't a failure, bro. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got servers interested. Ah, blue thing. Asari. Human. I am surrounded by primitives. Wow, fuck you. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reaper? Yes. Then we will see. What does this mean? Wow, what a douche. <laughs> I forgot he was a bit of a dick when you first when you first wake him up. <laughs> That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our he's a bit of an ass. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting that from him, but yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a dick. He's a dickhead. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? Tend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. Ah, beans. This is gonna be great. <laughs> What's the problem? I tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. <laughs> it's like I could kill you off with my brain. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. We'll just kill him if he is. I mean, we outnumber him. Will he? That depends on you. <laughs> I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. Well, yeah. Don't act so high and mighty, asshole. You're the only one who survived, so it's not like you did a whole lot better. Exactly, did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. I mean, cool, like I thinking? guess. Yes. Which? Oh my god, how much of this are we gonna do? Yeah. Why weren't they here? Why didn't you prepare for the Reaper Troop? Hey, fuck you, first off. It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. Hey, dickhead. The beacon sucked. Then communication is still primitive in this cycle. <laughs> what a we dick! We together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Well, that's not for fighting the Reapers. It's just a big, giant cotton candy machine. We were just hoping that it would be like one last fun little thing for us to enjoy before we all died. <laughs> oh my God, they're really drawing this out. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. I mean, this is like really good. No like exposition and stuff and I really like it but I got I got stuff to do. 
I got stuff to do. I'm supposed to be ending the stream right now, but I don't want to do it in the middle of a cutscene, so we'll finish this. Dickheadedness. So why are you like spending all your time trying to pick a fight with us? <laughs> I mean, there's like video games. It's kind of a fun thing. Oh, like you. Okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's extreme. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dry. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and act with ghosts if honor matters. What the fuck are you even talking about, dude? Like, what I'm saying is there are a bunch of dickhead humans that want to stop the Reapers, but are also trying to stop us in our approach to doing it. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with honor? I assume it belongs to you. Oh my god. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. Okay. It oh my gosh, Lily, your nails are so sharp. I really wish you wouldn't but dig I them into my leg. Fight. Ouch. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, this guy is super I dramatic. More questions I'd like to ask. Can I not stand here? I've written over a dozen oh my god. This is so long. See, this is something that... Like, even if I weren't in a hurry, I'm sorry. this is one of the things about games that are tough. Okay, good. Good, we are done. Okay. No, I'm out of here. I have a tough time when games turn into movies. I mean, we've spent the last 10 minutes just sitting here watching stuff, which isn't really a problem, except that, you know, like, I like the I, I like the exposition. I'm someone who sits and reads, like, every codex thing that I can in most games, but it's like, yeah, see, it's like we're just sitting here. I said goodbye, and yet we're still, we're still sitting here in this thing, and it's like... You know, it's been like ten minutes, and it's like, Commander, man, I wanna, I wanted to play a game. I am known as Javik, I still need so, like, that's a that's a hard thing I have with some video games when they really turn them into big giant movies. At the very least, when they do that, when the game itself isn't meant to be like a visual novel or whatever, like that. Like, there are some games that that's kind of the point of the game, and when that's the case. That's fine, but it's like that's because you you know you signed up for it, you know. So, okay, so here we are. I need to save and call it a session here. So, yeah, we're going to save game. We're just cycling through a few of them there. Um, so, yeah, so there we go. Whew, okay, we got some progress done. We, we, I mean, we got some stuff done in the game. So, um, great, yeah. So, thank you for everyone who stopped by. Uh, smaller audience today, uh, which is pretty normal for a Friday. I mean, especially Friday before a weekend or, or a holiday weekend here in America. A lot of people are busy getting the last bit of stuff done before they go on a little vacation or something like that so um, but either way for everyone who did stop by I appreciate you um, I have a whole lot of fun doing these because worst case scenarios I get to sit here and play a video game which is fun um, uh, that's it for this week um, I don't know that I'm gonna have time to stream at any point this week uh, this weekend because I also have stuff going on this weekend um, next week though I should be back on Monday uh, and next week we'll be doing Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, most likely, unless something else comes up in the way for those days. Uh, but then no stream on Friday, because on Friday I am going on, that's when I'm going on my little vacation. So, um, yeah, that's what we got this week. Uh, if you are interested in uh, being part of my community a little bit more, we uh, I do have a Discord. You can feel free to sign up for that. Uh, link for that is in my channel. Um, I think that's everything else. I think that's I think that's all I got. So, yeah, thanks everyone who stopped by. Appreciate you. Uh, and, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next time I get to see you. Until then, please uh, take care of yourselves. And, yeah, yeah, catch you guys later.